What's up, Bob here? Welcome back to my new series, Summer of CTI. Today we're going to get into a record that is omnipresent when you're out there digging in the crates. I've seen this record many times for as low as a dollar and as expensive as, say, $20. It has an unmistakable cover that is quite iconic in the CTI range. Of course, we are talking about Bob James 1. Has this half lion, half man demon on the cover? Yeah, look at him, he's golden. Real looking eyeballs, possibly an ornamentation from a door or something like that, but nevertheless results in a striking laminated gatefold. Mm hmm. This record is. Conducted and arranged by Bob James, CTI has multiple conductors and arrangers, not just Don Sebesky. But it does help to bring in that patented CTI sound. Sonically, this record is fairly adventurous. Huge ensemble of players, lots of ear candy. In particular, Steve Gadd and Idris Muhammad on drums and Gary King on bass. Why am I focusing on the bass and drums? I'll tell you why. Because this record is paramount in the development of rap and hip hop. Many samples were pulled off of this record. In particular, the tracks Feel Like Making Love and Nautilus. That's right, my favorite being Slick Rick's Children's Story. I love that tune, Slick Rick, Rick Rubin, they probably pulled little pieces out of Nautilus and constructed this new track, Children's Story. It's a fantastic song. If you've never heard it, check it out. That said, we're going to go through some of the tracks on here and make some comments about it. And then we're going to get out of here. Here we go. Valley of the Shadows opens kind of a funky, we'll call verse part. Very funky verse part, actually. Into a really blistering horn arrangement that sounds like something a hardcore band would play with guitars and basses and things, but it's just played with a horn ensemble. You could really bang your head to that if you wanted to. And it ends in sort of a fish-like triplet jam that's just like, you know, very cool. I, I do like that song, Valley of the Shadows. Then it goes... <laughs> into a track called In the Garden, which is just them funking over Paco Bell. And that's fucking lame. I hate that song. I, I'm, listen, I don't want to go that strong on it, but it's not my thing. I On CTI, you have this thing where sometimes they'll pick a classical piece and they'll put an arrangement over top of it. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. This is one of these ones that's very lukewarm water to me. It's not great. Let's move on to the B side. You've got Night on Bald Mountain, which is okay. You've got Feel Like Making Love, Iconic, and of course, the funk jam extravaganza, Nautilus. Super vibey. Tons of drums and bass. Here's the thing about these CTI records. There's a lot of bass down in the deep end. A lot of subs. You're across the spectrum of CTI records, you're going to find a lot of sub bass. You don't normally hear that on Rudy Van Gelder mastered records. But this is a period where people are into their turntables. People are into audiophile records and I would dare say this is a, definitely an audiophile record there's lots of things to listen to it's fun to listen to yeah it's it's not challenging you know it's not like you're putting on ohm or something like that I mean these CTI records you're not gonna like everything on them they're kind of you know records where you you know, you say, oh, I really like that super funky bass line, but that part right there is kind of cheesy. 
It's just all part of the CTI experience, to be quite honest. I'm not exactly sure why, if they would have just left out all the arranging, these would all just be burning jazz records. But I think they were really trying to push the form forward, sometimes successfully and other times not. So they were doing the, their thing. I mean, this is the 70s. You know, there was a lot of cocaine involved. Um, that said, this is a super cool record to have in your collection. It is on that typical CTI label. Definitely find a nice copy that is clean. These are audiophile adjacent records. We'll use that term again. And you don't want it carrying on. You don't want a lot of clicks and pops. You want a nice clean listening experience and because these tracks are very dynamic there's a lot of quiet parts a lot of loud parts and there's more than enough available to get a great copy of this record so bob james is one possibly bob james is one and two are some of the only bob james records you need in your CTI collection. I would also just like to say very quickly before I end this video, I have one YouTube account. It just says Bob Bradley. I don't have a Telegram account or any of that type of stuff. I will never approach you and ask you for money privately or in the comments. Do not respond to the comments by people who are using my likeness or any other person on YouTube's likeness under a fake account. I'm sorry that that happened. Be cautious. And until we meet again. That's right, folks. Bob out.